people, and welcome back to part 4 of Ilos our modded City Skylines build. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And thank you so much for all the support. Last time out you guys really enjoyed the introduction of our frontage road network into this side of the suburb and also the uh, first experimentation of some residential condo ideas as well. Which I think when we've paired with some car parks and a little repeated tree pattern alongside some sound barrier spice, uh, we can get a very nice aesthetic in here indeed, can't we? It's something quite special. However, in today's episode, we are going to dip our toe into the mile grid for the first time. So, of course, our eventual plan is to fill this with that big uh, relentless grid pattern that we've seen in Google Earth a few times this series to slowly crawl into the downtown. And this is where all of this is going to occupy, right? This big frame here that's marked by the highways. And I want to start playing with the idea of some big box retail using lots of heavy, very big, heavy kind of asphalt car parks, using Costco's, Walmart's, etc. And we're also going to do some more of these residential condos today as well and expand the idea to see how we can use them slightly differently. Now, because we are working with a grid pattern here, it's important that we keep our four way intersections entertaining and interesting because there's going to be so many of them. A quick shout out to subscriber 2C for the inspiration behind today's intersection. 2C is our intersection princess over in the Discord, which is linked down below. And uh, he is very much loved for his intersection ideas. So huge shout out to this one for him. Uh, we're going to be building a bow tie intersection here, which is uh, really cool. It's going to move the left turn of a four way junction to a roundabout that's slightly off it. Really cool way to control a four way intersection. So we'll see how that pans out today. But some very nice ideas in store today indeed. Let's get started, shall we? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is just start trimming up at this intersection here and find ourselves a six lane road. Now I think we're going to use the vanilla plus ones for this. We're going to go for a six lane avenue trees with no parking. And we want to be coming out of here. And then we want to upgrade the roads either side as well. At least just for this duration, we'll sort out what happens down that road a little later on. So this is connected in, but we need to measure out uh, 20 tiles of kind of breathing room uh, for this roundabout to appear. So we're we'll drawing 20 tiles there. And then likewise on this side again. And then using the three lane one way road from the vanilla plus ones again, we want to make a little uh, five deep roundabout here. Okay. So we won't have a connection here, but we will uh, connect into with this one, which will go back to our vanilla plus uh, six lane. Then again, we'll just prepare some connections to come out here. Might want a fancier road here, perhaps. Let's go for maybe a medium with trees out here, okay? Something a little nicer. And then perhaps on this one, we can start introducing a little bit of that black asphalt and working with a very heavily repeated pattern of it today with lots of big box retail. It's going to look super cool. Got some quite nice designs with the intersection marking tool installed today as well. Okay, so before we actually place anything today, we are going to be working with intersection marking tool and node control to set this thing up. Uh, so the videos are chaptered now, so if you're not interested in the setting up of the junctions and just want to see the build, then it's all marked out below on the uh, video scrub bar for you. But the first thing I'm going to do is come into node controller, all right? I'm going to grab this one right here. We're going to set this all offset to 23 meters. Same here too, offset to 23 and hit a little bit of enter. Also, in this process, in this all column, we're going to say uh, no to markings on both nodes. Of course, give it a little bit of manscaping with the old forest brush, because I will forget anarchy. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll just forest brush it instead now. So that's our node controller and traffic manager work done. We're then going to come into intersection marking tool. I'm going to click this node right here. I'm going to bring this over too. So we'll start out with our intersection markings here uh, from these. So this is my orientation on the roundabout, right? Here's the main road. And then we're going to be working with this bottom point first, and then we can copy and paste this around. So this blue node here is going to connect into the second dotted line on this road. Then we're going to connect the orange into the purple. We're also going to connect orange into the far right green over here too. And then repeat this for this side as well. So middle node up to the second line. And then this one into here. We're also going to draw green up into purple. Then we're going to hold alt to create a filler. And then we're going to fill in the middle right here. Make this whatever you want. I think I'm going to go for grass. I'm going to offset from the median here a little bit too. And add some curb size on as well. And also offset from the lines a little bit. 
I think I'll be happy with that, right? Then with our lines, we're going to make a few adjustments to the rules. We are going to make the two point end at the line that comes out of here. For all of these ones that run across the junction, we're just going to change their two point. Then come to this one, we're going to go for dashed. And then I mess around with the size of the dashes for a bit. So this is the first marking that we're going to apply to our bow tie intersection here. And I'm going to uh, copy this entire marking and then come over to this side and then paste it over. Give it a little rotate until the orientation is correct and then apply it. And likewise for this one as well. So I think I'm actually going to upgrade this road here into something else. Let's go for one of these roads here just so we're a little easier to mark at the intersection and then you can run kind of off into the mile grid and whatnot and serve some of the big box retail that's going to lie over here. So I think I'm also going to add a new rule into these guys as well. We're going to go from and two to this point and add in a dashed line. But let's actually grab the same dash pattern that we're using here. So we'll not change that to double solid. So we'll go for that. And we will copy this and then take it into that new rule that we've just created. So looking at the smaller intersection markings now, we're just going to link up the two main roads. Now we want to copy this widen pattern right here. So we'll just jump in and copy it. Makes it so much easier for mimicking intersections like this. I and mean, you know, once we've done it, we can copy the entire thing and use it uh, elsewhere around the city as well. So super handy. Going to draw the middle blue line up to the far or the top uh, red line over here. Also going to draw blue into blue. And then create a filler in the middle. Again, we can just grab this filler over here. Copy that. Come back in. And apply it over here as well. Some nice decoration opportunities with street lights in here today too. Then just going to make some new rules on the existing lines. Again, changing into a dash pattern. But again, I know I want the same shape dashes here. So I'm going to copy them from the previous intersection and then paste them in here. Also want these lines to stop here too. And then that's going to be it for the markings on our roundabouts. So you can now just apply all of these uh, settings to this one just by copying them over so I'll get that done and then we can have a look at how the middle is going to function here too So really nicely marked roundabouts. I'm a huge fan of these uh, very pretty looking And uh, it just continues to blow me away <laughs> Absolutely love it Just the world of difference it makes to, to build it in this game Quality of life everyone Okay, so we will have a look at the node controller stuff for the middle now, of course. So we want to turn off all of our markings. And we're going to set this to 30 meters wide. Okay, it's going to open the node out nicely for us. Then we want to come into our intersection marking stuff. And this one is nice and easy to set up. It's just a few straight lines and a couple of curves. Uh, so with the roundabouts to the kind of north and south, if you like, we're going to have a look at the roundabout from this configuration. So from left to right here is the main road. We're going to connect everyone up from left to right. We're also going to connect everyone in at the corners. And then the same again from top to bottom. Once you have kind of a perfect square in the middle, you can tell here you have kind of three smaller grids of nine, three rectangles, and then grid of nine, three rectangles, grid of nine, with a mini square in the middle. We then want to connect the outer two lanes to each other at each of the intersections here. And we are then going to create a filler which fills those spaces that we have just drawn. Again, you can make this whatever you want. I want to go for grass to be consistent. Again, you can jump back into the other intersection marking and grab that same filler and bring it over here if you want. If you want to kind of stay consistent with your look, all right? You're then going to repeat this filler in each of the four corners. So again, we can just copy it. Then I'm going to create another filler in this middle square. I'm going to leave this as pavement, but just round it off a little bit. Set it off from the lines. Give it a bit of elevation. We'll put a light in here as well during our detailing time lapse. Now to make the next set of fillers, which are the rectangles directly off from the central median. So just a nice simple rectangle filler here, paste this in, 
However, you do want to change the offset from median here. Let's bring it back a little bit. I also introduce some curb size from the median as well. And just line it up wherever you please. And again, we can just copy this design now. So those are our fillers and we can now see how the interchange is starting to take shape. What it's doing is taking the left turn out of the intersection and then throwing it into the roundabout. So it works really nicely, but also do some time traffic lights with traffic monitor today as well. But we do need to finish up the intersection markings. So we are going to come back into intersection marking tool, grab the lines. We're going to do quite a few things with the lines here, lots of new rules and different patterns. So we now essentially just want to remove all of the grid space that's in the middle so the easiest way that we can really explain this is you come into each of these lines that run parallel we're going to change its two point to here okay which just makes it run from there add in a new rule so it now runs from here to here which now leaves this space empty and then rinse and repeat for every single uh, vertical and horizontal line through the middle Okay, so those are intersection markings. It's just a lot of straight lines and changing around with the different rules and stuff to get the lines to stop and start in different places. But it's pretty simple once you wrap your head around it. Um, a, a quick side note, once I'm more comfortable with the mods, I might do some mod tutorials if you guys are interested in seeing them in my style. We'll see if there's demand. No, but either way, that's going to be quite nice for intersection marking tool. We are going to come into traffic manager. Uh, come in with our lines. So what we're doing from this junction is totally eliminating uh, the left turn. So they can either go straight on or right. Because they are turning before the intersection at the roundabouts. Which once it's all set up, we will see how it flows. And then we can start looking at some big box retail action as well. So we'll have a look at the timed traffic lights now. Uh, let's come into actually turn traffic lights on. And then we will set up a time traffic light on this node. Uh, we will add a step. So we're going to set up the arterial road to be green with no crossing. And the minimum time here will be 10 seconds. And the max will be 15. And of course these are on red so pedestrians can cross. We're going to add that step. Very nice. We're going to add a new step. Where this time it is the opposite. And the arterial is stopped. People can walk. And they can't walk here. Then the time here is going to be 5 and 10. We're going to add this in. And then we can view each stage. Very nice. Wonderful. So that's it for our time traffic lights. Uh, that's all we're doing with it. Do you want to drop in a few uh, street lights? Because this place will be uh, relatively dark at night time. So we'll come in the little parking lot light. Place that in the middle. That should be enough. Could possibly get some more out here. Might be a little bit overkill. I think that'll be all right. So I think we'll actually set up a little cinematic uh, and watch some cars come through over a longer period of time and see what we think. Because this thing's really nice. And again, a huge shout out to 2C for the inspiration behind today's build. 
really is our interchange princess. This is wonderful here. Yeah. Super happy with this. So nice, isn't it? Just uh, <laughs> I'm never not going to be blown away by the intersection marking tool, I think. All right. But either way, let's speed some footage up and have a look, shall we? So there we go. I hope you enjoy that. It's quite nice, isn't it? All right. Before we do start building, we do have a fair amount of demand for higher education. Now, we're not quite at the point where we want to build a campus yet. So I think I'm just going to throw down one of these faculty buildings uh, that actually holds 800, which I have been looking at uh, the University of Arizona in Tucson, uh, which is a suburban campus. Very nice design. So looking forward to a campus build as always. However, we're going to be playing with Ploppable Rico today to satisfy a little bit of commercial demand and also some uh, condo designs as well so very exciting indeed let's come into parking lot roads we are going to be working with the black asphalt this time uh, because this is very much a vibe that we are looking to generate so we're going to come onto road guideline and we're going to save tile space between the arterial and the car park road let's go for 36 again sticking in units of three or multiples of three is always helpful when working with uh, big parking lot roads. So let's get in the first two filler roads as well. Okay, and then we'll dive into uh, some of this low density commercial stuff in Ploppable Rico, shall we? So I think we're going to build kind of a few competing uh, big box retails here, a Costco, a Walmart, a, a Smith's kind of food and drug alongside uh, a residential development, all to kind of really help complement this intersection as well. So uh, we'll see how that pans out, okay? So let's grab ourselves uh, the Costco, first of all. Again, playing with a lot of King Leno assets here. All of them are linked down below if you want to go and get them. Okay. So let's have our Costco here. There's also a Costco loading dock as well, which we'll, we'll hopefully place in today as well once we have some more money. Once I let the game run on 3-speed for a bit. <laughs> Soon. Soon, I promise. So let's bring, this can probably just be drive road now though to be fair here. Yes it can. I'm going to bring this directly behind the Costco. And we'll connect into the parking lot as well. Can we take a loan? Yes, we can. I can pay that and take that one as well. Yes, please. <laughs> there we go. Got us spend money to make money, right? Okay, so it's dropping the loading dock and then the Costco X, which I guess is like a little expansion module. Let's spin the loading bay dock around. Which, that's pretty flush first time, I think, is it? Oh, slightly out, slightly out. If you hold shift while you're dragging and move it, you can get much more uh, precise movements, which really helps when you're trying to align things like that, okay? That's a nice little tip there, isn't it? Let's grab the other one as well. We had Costco X. This looks like a little... Kind of expansion module, doesn't it? And again, we'll spin this around. I think it's the same on all sides. Yes, it is. So we can just kind of use it as a modular expansion. Actual modular builds, everyone. Welcome. I think that looks pretty good to me, right? That's pretty even both sides. It's really going to uh, just bring out the bulk of the Costco uh, for us here as well. We could even do it again if we want, but we'll kind of see uh, what we're looking like for scale here. So let's go ahead and get those car parks in. We will go for some disabled action at the top. Of course, we want anarchy on for these. Let's go for five. Okay, and then we'll come in with that black filler again. That's wonderful. And then we'll do another five disabled. Again, with the filler. And then we can bring in our bulk parking spaces. Okay, that's going to give us a decent size enough car park outside of the Costco, I think. That's one of our big box retailers set up here. Huge fan of these assets. They're just absolutely amazing. If we want to bring some power out here, I guess it's going to be a good shout to run some of our rural power line action. That we're also fond of, of course. We also have a Costco gas station as part of this pack as well. So let's bring the road down. We're going to pop the gas station on the corner here. 
yeah, that's the orientation that I want. And again, just a little a box of drive road behind it with road length and angle. Maybe leave a little bit of breathing room for some decoration. Uh, there's Boomtown. We do get campus areas, speak of the devil. Alongside lots of exciting stuff. Oh, we get office sewn in as well today. High density res, yes please. Lots of exciting opportunities there. Okay, that's going to be too bad. Now we probably just want to complement a lot of these areas here with service painter. Not quite so big a brush though. Everyone's happy, I think. That's going to be a real nice big uh, key. Big box retailer for Ilos in this part of town, right? Come down to the local Costco and, you know, they have their logo facing their major intersection here. Very nice. Big fan of that. I was also grab some low density commercial and go for the ripoff in and out burger. There it is. Oh no, this isn't the ripoff one, is it? This is the actual real one. Gonna place in an in and out. I want to move this up here. Move it. And then just adjust the node ever so slightly. Just so we get a little kind of different road pattern in here. It's gonna box in the in and out burger quite nicely there too. Okay. We're already starting to see some people arrive at the Costco. I'm not entirely sure how because they don't actually have a connection into the area just yet, but we can certainly fix that. Let's come off Anarchy as well. Wonderful news. Let's go ahead and get that hooked in. I think that'll probably be enough connections right there. Got some room, some detailing out here as well. Wonderful. So that's one of them done. Right, let's now have a look at the next one, which again, I might jump over to parking lot roads for this one. Uh, just so we can vary up, and again, I'm going to save a tile of space between here and the arterial. And let's see if we can match up with distance of this. We'll snap into that grid as well. I think I totally hate that. Let's come into four lane road and see if we can grab maybe something like a brick median. This seems quite nice. So we're going to connect this down into the parking lot here, okay? We can even do some of our own detailing as well if we want to uh, discuss some detailing uh, palettes for the first time today. Let's come into some of our palm trees, shall we? We can manually place in maybe a few taller palms on the entrance into this retailer here. I think we're going to go for we have the Walmart here. There is a Walmart with a McDonald's, so we are going to actually spin you around. Very much happy with that. Let's go ahead and grab, move it to give it a bit of the old spin and twist. Just have some car parking included outside it as well, which I'm not adverse to being used. So we also have a Walmart auto care center here as well, which I think I can certainly get involved with, right? Again, we'll use move it to position it where we want. Right there, that's going to be good. And again, I think service paint is going to be uh, our best friend for a lot of this today for helping to create quite a almost kind of downtown feel here. Though we might leave some sand exposed, maybe get into kind of more fleshed out concrete vibes once we get towards that downtown. But we'll see how we get on here today. Okay, so we've got a little auto care center in there too. I think I'm also going to drop this pet smart in as well. Again, this looks like another kind of big box boy, right? And we're going to spin him around so he faces our car parks. Of course, he will still remain uh, connected, which is great. And we can maybe just line him up right here like that. Is that too close to the car park, do we think? Possibly is. I'm going to shift it back just a bit. God. <laughs> How much better is this? God, car parks are amazing. <laughs> it's so good. Just so good, everyone. It really is. Okay. Don't like this here. This isn't uh, looking the best. We want to change this car park up. If you guys want a little bit of a preview as to what we'll be playing with with our downtown assets, these are a few of them here. Kind of World Trade Center vibes, right? It's going to be an exciting build <laughs> if you want to get... Let's sidetrack for a little bit. We do have an Ikea here too. 
Could drop an IQ in here. I feel like that would be a good spot for it. It's going to make a smaller collective commercial front. Get an old navy in. Maybe a radio shack too. Alongside. Oh yeah, this would be a great corner asset here. Which one's this? Yeah. Yeah, let's get that in. Okay. And then we'll grab each of them with move it. And then we can just spin them around. And then face them onto our new car park here. Make sure that we're aligning this corner correctly because that's going to be a real selling point here, isn't it? How wonderful does that look? Hmm? Let's please everyone. A little bit of appreciation and respect for the corner. And we do have a little bit of industrial demand. We are getting to the point now where we're going to be needing to build out a significant industrial area pretty soon. So I think we're going to be doing a farm first of all. But just to kind of keep the city ticking, we're going to satisfy that commercial demand, or industrial demand rather. Okay, then we're getting some worker demands here, but this won't be a problem. It will eventually get satisfied. Let's have a look at how we're flowing here as well. Definitely want to turn off parking here. That is not <laughs> at all. Not at all what we want. No parking here, thank you. Uh, or on here either. But hopefully now, with the introduction of the first big box guys in, we should see kind of a little bit of importance just beginning to develop on this intersection. I do think I am going to possibly rethink the location of the Pet Smart though. Let's bring the Pet Smart down so it's flush with the Dollar Tree. And then we'll maybe add in another fast food place here as well because it's really blocking the view to the Walmart and that's not what I'm trying to do. So we'll come in to plot the growables and we'll have a little browse. But maybe just another petrol station would be fine here. Maybe get one up on the corner. I think we do have... Yeah, we do have a Shell petrol station though. Why don't we go for that one instead? Yeah, we have the Shell gas station here. I think I can get on board with that. I don't know. We'll leave it for our detailing time lapse. <laughs> that one's uh, a little bit tricky to look at yet. But hopefully we can see the effect coming into play now, right? This is very much what we're after. Let's have a look at some uh, detailing ideas for the arterial. Uh, if we are going to paint out totally with surface painter, then we can make all of these uh, spaces concrete here. Uh, which actually allows some much more kind of custom landscape detailing. Lots of nice kind of plant pots and flower beds and stuff. Okay, so again, we'll have a look for a planter. Something quite small is going to be nice, all right? Maybe one of these. So we'll draw in some planters using crop line tool. And again, I think a lot of Kind of nice complimentary palm action. It's going to be really appreciated here, I think, isn't it? Yeah, using these kind of smaller... Which ones are these? Californian fan palms. Very much a, a fan of these, if you will. Okay. Come for the building and stay for the tree jokes, everyone. And then hopefully now we can see a preview of that, right? Kind of very important arterial system flowing through the town now. All meeting up and converging at this intersection too. So hopefully now it's getting a little busier. We can see the bird's eye view how it flows a little a little more. I think it's nice, isn't it? It's wonderful. Better than just a regular four-way. Of course, there's many other alternatives to this. Um, Yumbo has some great videos on four-way intersections. Especially his continuous flow. That was really nice. So we're starting to get some commercial and residential growth. And I want to kind of complete the final uh, corner here in today's expansion. Uh, with a continuation of the idea that we were looking at last time with residential condos. So first of all, let's eye up a pattern. Let's draw in a car park of 10. I'm going to dive into uh, Rico briefly. We're going to grab some of those apartments. Let's go for maybe some of these ones. So if we go for two, how are we feeling about that as the pattern? Is that going to fit nicely with our car park? Okay. See what we think. So let's grab ourselves a road because we're going to want to have these functioning as boxes anyway. And two is going to fit that space pretty much near perfectly, which is exactly the aesthetic that I'm looking for here. Okay, so very heavily repeated patterns of these is something we see an awful lot in America. Uh, there's especially there's a ton of these uh, up near Vancouver as well. And uh, when we were looking at some Canadian inspiration once. So shout out to the little a lot of Vancouver subscribers. So again, we can now just repeat these measurements of 10 and then just use move it to duplicate the pattern over. And there we go. 
So we'll now see how these sit up alongside this big arterial network uh, just near all the uh, big box retail, which should be quite fun. But you know, this is all this is all fine and dandy. This is nice, but what else can we include here? Uh, why don't we have a look how broke we are because we have you know, money. Why is a community pool 75,000? I don't remember it being that bad before. <laughs> Oh, you guys also wanted me uh, to enable uh, no despawning. There you go. It's now on hard mode, bigger traffic jams. Uh, so we have that now. Uh, apologies, yes. I am slowly getting through the hundreds of comments you're leaving. Uh, thank you for all the mod recommendations and mod tips. It's tremendously helpful. I'm going to pay my loans and take them again. Live in dangerously, <laughs> as always. So I want to place in the community pool here, all right? And let's see what we can do to... Kind of arrange this to sit how we want. So I think I'd like. Yeah, we want the side building to kind of be within the complex here, okay? So let's bring this up. Just see what we think of this design. Again, making sure we save a little bit of space behind the condos there. How do we feel about that? I think I'm happy, All right? That's not too bad. I think it's a case of uh, remeasuring this distance now to accommodate another. Parking lot road here, and then we can have this as a repeated pattern uh, in a couple of different spots. And I think we can run with this uh, as our pattern now. So we just want to kind of duplicate these guys over here. And then we can align them with either side of the road. And then we'll grab this road again here, and we can have this as kind of the main uh, spine, and then connect in with these guys. And then this should allow us to develop some condo complexes just copy and paste in this pattern we can maybe even afford to bring it out by another another repeated section here too if we want okay so i think that's going to work isn't it probably have this one more side this side too and we can probably get some hedges around this as well and almost treat it as though it is kind of a, a private condo complex right very nice indeed once you get the parking in superb and i think what we'll do here is just continue to develop the suburban grid that's out here in Lee Hawkins Hills. And then we can allow this district to come out now, which is going to be really nice. Okay, I'm just going to border up and I'll decorate this little intersection here too. Which I'm very happy with. However, guys, that does feel like a good place for a detailing tile out, so we have a fair amount of work to do. I'm going to repeat this pattern exactly on the adjacent side of this road to complete our condo complex. And come up with some kind of uh, hedge border, perhaps, over here, all right? See if we can kind of give this a nice little perimeter fencing, if you will. And we'll definitely get some elevated pedestrian crosswalks over this intersection as well. And then all our little detail bits and pieces, uh, decorate our roundabouts over here. And that kind of bring uh, some more service painter and prop detailing over to these parts also. Alongside the parking in these sections too. But otherwise, let's get to detailing. I'll be right back.
Okay, guys, that is going to do it for us today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, likes, comments, and shares below really help out my channel. Equally as much if you haven't enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. A huge thank you and indeed welcome to all the new people. We've had like thousand subs in a week, which is insane. So many new people, welcome to the channel. I really appreciate all the support and I do hope that you are still enjoying our modded gameplay into episode 4. Uh, I'm really happy playing with lots of different ideas here. And I hope you've enjoyed today's ideas as well. You know, we're working with lots of very large uh, kind of black asphalt car parks here. And I really think using these kind of really unique types of intersections is going to help keep our mile grid uh, somewhat interesting rather than just having kind of basic bitch four ways every single time. Do hang around for the rest of the outro tag. As always, there was a ton of detailing that you guys wouldn't have seen. Otherwise, I want to thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.